Hey guys, it's Marky B and Flux here. We're gonna be answering all your questions. Let's get right into it. So Hans asks about the use of uh, advanced analytics um, in relation to Call of Duty. And um, we track um, a number of different kind of metrics within the game um, that can be used to kind of inform our decision making when it comes to veto processes. Um, so we can decide what maps we're good at, um, for instance, head-to-head -head records against a specific opposition. Um, their opposition's own um, kind of records on those maps. Um, also, we kind of, you know, we use player stats to kind of evaluate um, performance, although I wouldn't say KD is necessarily the be-all and end-all. Gervier asks, what's something that we appreciate from Toronto Ultra that other teams can take some notes on? I think I'd start off with the, the facility here. I think we've got a great facility to work from and, and that is key. I think just having a, a workspace that's separate from your home, I know a lot of other teams like still play from their apartments and things like that. Uh, but I'd say coming to work every day and, and you know having that environment to, to work in is key. And second of all, I think that just the support from all the staff. I think that working directly in this space and allowing ourselves to interact with the different sports staff every single day is something that's key to our success. Yeah, I'd say it's like the closeness of the group. I think you know we're a tight knit group and we do a lot of um, you know team walks, team activities together, and that creates that kind of chemistry um, like outside the game. And I think that can filter inside the game as well. And uh, I know. We've been lauded that we're having like one of some of the best teamwork in the game, and I think that comes down to being kind of almost like a, a family outside the game. So Malakavelli asks, who is the most improved player um, from the CDL this season, um, both outside of our team and within? Um, and my answer is uh, Scum. Um, I think you know um, Seth had an insane performance at Champs, and I think he's massively improved. Um, from you know that M4 meta in stage one, and then I think he recently self-admittedly said that he wasn't that good at stage two. But I think since then, particularly in Search and Destroy, he's been frying. So I think um, he's one of the most improved players this season. And then from like our team, I'd say like I mean all of them have massively improved. To be honest, and I need to make sure I say that, otherwise I'll be getting told off. But yeah, I think they're all massively improved. But I'd say for me, like one of the most impressive improvements would be from Vance. I think he's took a lot of work into sort of building himself up as a leader in game and, and I think that that's been key to our success really. Um, he really allows all the other players to play at a higher level so for me I'm, I'm definitely proud of Bance's improvement. Famsey asks what it's like living in Toronto and how does it compare to our own hometowns? I think for me it's completely different. I live in a suburb just outside of Glasgow in Scotland which is there's a bunch of fields, um, bunch of, bunch of sheep. There's not really much going on. Um, so, I mean, living in a city is obviously a completely different experience entirely. It motivates you almost in a way to like wanting to work because everyone seems so busy. Everyone's always on the move. So, like the city lifestyle, I definitely love and enjoy that. And obviously, I'm a big food guy, so the food options are great over here in Toronto compared to uh, back at home. So, when I do go home in the off season, I'm going to be bitterly disappointed at the food options. Yeah, I'd say I'm a massive fan of Toronto. I think, um, obviously, I'm, I'm from a seaside coastal resort town in, in like southeast England, so it's a little bit different, but obviously, I'm also on the doorstep of London, which is kind of a similar big city vibe. Um, but Toronto definitely has um, kind of more varied kind of temperatures in terms of like the weather. Obviously, it gets pretty cold here and then it gets pretty warm, so the summer's really nice. Um, but like Mark said, the food here is incredible. Um, we like to go on walks uh, around like Lake Ontario and it's good vibes. You can see the, um, the city skyline from, from different angles and it's just, um, it's a vibe to be honest with you. I really like the city. Jamie asks, what gave your team the X factor this season? For me, I think it's what everyone says it is. It's teamwork. Our team is one of the best in the, in the league at just playing together. And I think that's one of the things that we've really, really pushed from the start. And I think a lot of that comes down to our out-of-game togetherness and camaraderie. Um, and it kind of leaks into in-game. And I think we've seen that throughout the season for us. Um, a lot of our the way we behave outside of the game really translates in-game. And I think when we've been at our best throughout this season, it's when we've been together outside of the game and uh, chilling together, going on more. Walks, um, watching VODs together and really just enjoying our, our own company together outside of the game and it, it does definitely bleed into a more positive environment in game and practice and matches so I'd say that's been our X factor for me this season. Yeah 100% I think teamwork is a massive aspect of our success I also think um, how mentally, mentally resilient this group is because obviously we've had some setbacks during the season and every team you know suffers losses but it's all about how you kind of respond to those losses 
and you learn from them and then you can come back and apply the lessons that you've learned to become the, you know, your like final form and I think our team has done that really well this season and that's why we were able to stay so consistent throughout the kind of the last, the latter stages. Hey guys, that was our EMA. Hope you enjoyed it. What a great questions. Make sure if you guys enjoy it, you make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, that'll be it from us. Hope you enjoy.